The battery technology breakthroughs that we'll learn about at Tesla's upcoming battery day are the key, I believe, to the success of Tesla's Semi. Let's talk about why. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Bill Gates recently put out a blog post on his website entitled, How Do We Move Around in a Zero Carbon World? In this particular blog post, he made some statements about electric vehicles and specifically electric 18-wheelers that has drawn some controversy. Here's a quote from that blog post. The problem is that batteries are big and heavy. The more weight you're trying to move, the more batteries you need to power the vehicle. But the more batteries you use, the more weight you add, and the more power you need. Even with big breakthroughs in battery technology, electric vehicles will probably never be a practical solution for things like 18-wheelers, cargo ships, and passenger jets. Elon Musk publicly gave his opinion when Richard on Twitter asked him about his opinion on these statements. Elon Musk said he has no clue. So who's right? Is Bill Gates right or is Elon Musk right? With old battery tech from several years ago, technically Bill Gates is right. However, battery technology, and especially Tesla's battery technology, is not standing still. Even with 2020 battery tech from Tesla, I believe their semi makes some sense, but with the breakthroughs that we're going to learn about at battery day, I believe that makes the semi even more viable and it's going to make it a no brainer for companies when it comes to the cost per mile of transportation. Before we dive into the rest of this video's content, I wanted to take just a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help me make this content and bring it to you. A special thank you goes out to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and Inku Kang. Also, thank you to these other supporters listed at the bottom of the screen. There are two specific battery breakthroughs that I'm looking for from Tesla that will specifically make the Semi even more viable. The first one is increased energy density, and the second one is increased battery cycle life. First of all, let's dive into the increased energy density, talk about why that's important, and dive into some of the reasons why I believe Tesla is going to release a much more energy dense version of their battery very soon. One of the biggest reasons why the energy density of batteries for a long haul truck like the Tesla Semi, why that's so important, is because if your batteries weigh too much, that takes away from how much you can actually haul with that vehicle. If you're able to haul a lot less with an electric semi than you could with a diesel semi, that can actually cut into your efficiency as an operator. Let's do some quick math for the battery tech found in the Model 3 and the Model Y, the 2170 cells, and also estimate how much battery capacity will be found in the Tesla semi to illustrate how heavy these batteries might be. According to Tesla's website, the long range version of the semi will go approximately 500 miles on a single charge. Their website also states that it should have an efficiency of somewhere less than two kilowatt hours of battery capacity needed to travel a mile. So using these numbers, we can estimate that the Tesla Semi might have a battery size of somewhere around 1000 kilowatt hours. In order to figure out the energy density and the weight of the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y battery packs, the 2170 cells, I found this clean Technica article that talked about the energy density for a battery cell teardown performed by Jack Rickard. According to this article and also the video that Jack Rickard put out, the energy density of the current 2170 cell at the cell level is somewhere around 247 watt hours per kilogram. He also estimated that at the pack level, the energy density of the Model 3 pack was around 159.5 watt hours per kilogram. So if you assume a one megawatt hour battery pack for the Tesla Semi, and you assume this same energy density, that would give you a battery weight at the pack level of around 13,823 pounds. So as you can see, if Tesla was using current battery tech in the Semi, that would eat into the amount of cargo you could haul with the truck. However, I believe Tesla is going to reveal the breakthroughs at battery day that will allow for this watt hours per kilogram to become a lot more energy dense than what we see here with this current battery tech. 
If you take a look at this chart, this helps illustrate why it's important for Tesla to reduce the weight of the battery packs in the Tesla Semi. According to my research, a typical semi truck, a long haul semi truck, can weigh somewhere around 20,000 pounds or greater. A semi truck flatbed usually weighs somewhere around 10,000 pounds. We also know that the total weight limit for a semi truck on a US road is 80,000 pounds. So if a typical truck weighs 20,000 pounds and the flatbed trailer weighs 10,000 pounds, then that particular truck could haul approximately 50,000 pounds. About a year ago, the CHP from the Donner Pass Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Facility posted this photo of a Tesla semi loaded down with concrete lock blocks. According to this post, this vehicle was operating at approximately 75,000 pounds and the truck was exceeding range estimates. This particular revelation is actually really important because with this picture and with the load we see here on the semi, we can actually calculate roughly how much the truck weighs. So when you look at the side view there, it looks like there are roughly five big concrete blocks. However, when you look at the same Tesla semi load on this YouTube video showing the same truck, you can see that it's actually blocks side by side. So. This Tesla Semi is actually carrying nine of these concrete lock blocks. According to the Bashaw Concrete Products website, each one of these concrete lock blocks weighs around 4,200 pounds. So if the Tesla Semi is hauling nine of these concrete blocks, that comes out roughly to around 37,800 pounds. So from this low, we know that the Tesla Semi is hauling nearly 38,000 pounds on the trailer. We can use this number and some of the other numbers that we know from the typical weights of semi trucks and trailers to figure out just how heavy the actual Tesla semi is. As we estimated, those nine concrete blocks weighed approximately 37,800 pounds. And since it was estimated that the semi truck was operating at around 75,000 pounds, which is 5,000 pounds lower than the total maximum legally allowed, we can add 5,000 pounds to that max payload, and that gives us a max payload for that Tesla test semi of 42,800 pounds. So if you subtract the flatbed weight and also the max payload number that we got from that picture, that would give you a truck weight of around 27.2 thousand pounds for that test prototype semi. So even the technology found in the prototype Tesla Semi does show some viability, but I believe that Tesla will be able to do even better than this. That 7,000 plus pounds that the operator would lose between a diesel Semi and a Tesla Semi, I believe Tesla will make up most of that with new battery tech. Before Tesla purchased Maxwell Technologies, they showed their roadmap of reaching somewhere greater than 350 watt hours per kilogram sometime in the 2020s. We talked about this in previous videos, but they have a revolutionary dry battery electrode process, and we know Tesla bought them much because of this process. I believe Tesla with this dry battery electro technology at battery day could release a battery made for the semi with a 50% increase in the watt hours per kilogram at the pack level. If Tesla is able to do this and decrease the battery weight, it could make the payload capacity on par with a traditional diesel semi truck. This kind of battery technology would allow for a no compromises battery electric semi that would also allow for a lot of cost savings on the fueling and energy end. No payload compromise plus cost savings equals a very commercially viable product. The second big factor that's important for battery electric semis to be very viable is that they need to have very long life for the batteries. The average long haul semi drives approximately 100,000 miles per year, and many of these trucks last around 1 million miles before they are replaced. With Tesla's current technology, according to Elon Musk, they are designed to last around 300,000 to 500,000 miles. So in order for the Tesla semi to make more sense financially, I believe that Tesla really has to have a million mile battery found in these semis. If you had to replace the Tesla Semi battery pack somewhere around 500,000 miles, that could negate all the cost savings you got by driving an electric versus diesel Semi. 
So increased battery life is necessary for the Tesla Semi to be commercially viable. But the good news is I believe Tesla has the answer for that. I believe at battery day, Tesla will address the energy density of their batteries and also the life cycles of their batteries. And specifically, they'll talk about this in relation to the semi truck. I believe the Tesla semi will soon help revolutionize trucking and Tesla will reveal the battery technology necessary to allow for a no compromises battery electric semi truck. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Thank you so much.